Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Shady, and welcome back to Redstone Tutorial. Uh, so today I'm going to be showcasing and doing a tutorial on my uh, ready up system. So basically what this does is it requires everyone to ready up and then the game will start. So as you can see I have two player slots here and the game will not start until each player has stepped on their pressure plate. So as you can see I step on player one, it says player one is ready. Step on player two, player two is ready and then it will say everyone is ready and then it will TP you. So that's how it is and I'm going to show you how to build it. Alright, so to build this, it's actually very, very simple. Now, I'm not sure if anyone else has done this, or if they... Because I know there's tons and tons of different ones, but, um... As far as I know, mine's somewhat unique. Um, so basically what you're going to do is... You're, I'm going to start off by building the first player one ready system. So to do that, you're going to place a block and put your pressure plate on it. And then directly behind it, you're going to place your repeater. So it's going to send a signal through the block and power the repeater, like so. Right. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the thing where it says player one is ready. So to do that, we're just gonna put a command block, which is uh, ID 137. Uh, so you can do that by typing this command uh, like that. And it'll give you a command block, and it's coming night, day. All right. All right, so now you're gonna open up your command block, and if you don't know how to type in command blocks, it's basically like command prompt. However, all we're gonna write here is say, so that's gonna tell it to say it out loud. Say, player one is ready, like that. So then when we step on it, it will say it. Now, this will also the repeater will also send a signal through this block. So now, I, if I were to place a repeater like so it will go through that. So, now it's going to get into the part of the uh, where everyone kind of has to ready up. So we're going to place a sticky piston, uh, like so, and um, then you're going to place a block in front of it and a torch on it, like so. So basically, now we're going to place a repeater sideways, like so. Yeah. No, this way, sorry, that way. Alright, so now, it's, so as you can see, it's powered, and we're going to place a repeater beside it, like so. So basically, now we have a locked repeater. Now, these aren't used a lot. People don't use these, but these are actually super helpful, and this is basically what makes it work. So that's the first part of the ready up system. So that's for player one. Um, and what will happen here is when you step on the pressure plate, it will send a signal through here say player one is ready, send a signal through here, push the piston which will break the torch which will then unpower this which will then open this back up here. So now we're gonna go ahead and build the second one. We can build it pretty much right beside it. Now let's go through and build it. And instead we'll put say player two is ready like so and there we go. Alright, so now we got player one and player two. Now you can do this for as many as you want. Um, all you will have to do is just keep building kind of these little subsections, um, like so. Um, so now in the middle, you can place redstone or you can place just a repeater. Um, I'll just put a repeater since I don't have any redstone on me. And then you're going to want to place a torch or some sort of power supply at the very, very end of it. Now basically what this does now is it makes it so that all of these have to be unlocked before it can send power to the end, which in our case is this command block. Um, so it doesn't matter what order they ready up in, all of them need to be unlocked. So say player 2 readies up first, this will unlock, however this one will not. Or if player 1 readies up first, this one will unlock, but it can't get through this one. Um, so that's the ready up system aspect. So then basically at the end you have your command block. So now we can put um, any command. If we're wanting them to TP them somewhere, we can do um, at A, so target all players, uh, TP, and then whatever the coordinates are. Um, but in our case, we're just going to say, say everyone is ready. 
like so. All right, so ba this is a basic design here. Um, again, if you want to add more players, you can easily do so by just building this, kind of keep going beside it or fit it in wherever, um, as long as you have this sort of deal going on. So now I'll show you how it works. Um, if I am to step on, let's do player two first. All right, it said player two is ready because it powered this, went through here. Now what the piston is doing is it's pushing the torch, right? And it pushes it off, uh, so which it allows this to unlock. And since the power is at the very end, it needs to go through all these, so it still can't go through. So now if I would click this one, it will go through, and as you can see, it will say everyone is ready. Now the only con of this one is, um, you can there's like you can't r easily really reset it you'll have to replace the torches and then replace the pistons that are locked or else they kind of glitch out um, so you there's no button if you want to unready or whatnot but it still works very efficient and I am using it for the map that I'm building right now so that is it thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions whatsoever let me know in the comments um, and I will definitely let you know, um, or yeah, I'll answer them. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If this has been done already, let me know. Um, I'm generally interested. Just link me to wherever you've seen it. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. One last thing before I go, guys. I have created this kind of thing just to demonstrate how many you could do. Uh, I kind of set it up as if it was like a Hunger Games lobby, so... Um, as you can see, you gotta do all of them. So I'll just kind of, and it says ready for each one. You gotta do each and every one. Can mix it up, start this side now. As you can see, it's gonna go. Yeah, so basically, um, I just set it up here. The timing's kind of off, but it'll be like all players ready and uh, ready to teleport. And then it will teleport players where you can put a block somewhere over here with a teleportation command. Uh, and then it'll basically say welcome to whatever the map name is. And then you can set these to count down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then go. But yeah, so this is really cool. I actually really like this, so. Uh, thanks for watching.